guys, I'm Kate Wilson. I am the work-based learning teacher from East, and then I come here also. Um, and when I was growing up, uh, a thank you card was something my mother made us write. Anybody else? Parents, make them write a thank you note. Birthday parties, yeah. And you haven't graduated yet, but when you do, you'll get all these checks and the goodies, right? And you'll have to write a thank you note. And then you'll potentially get married one day and they'll give you gifts and you have to write thank you notes. And then you have a baby and then you have to write thank you notes, right? And so it's, is it a social norm? Yes. It's a thing that we do to show gratitude. And I don't know if you've ever received a handwritten thank you note. Has anybody ever received one? for something you've done. Um, the thing about thank you notes to me that makes thank you notes extra special, I didn't mean to touch the microphone, I'm not good at this, um, is that it does make you pause, it makes you stop, and it makes you think about something, right? So this is a thank you note that I got recently from my childhood best friend who's getting married and I sent her a gift. And um, she sent me this thank you note and sometimes when I read thank you notes, I read them and I go, that is the worst thank you note I've ever received and I throw it in the trash can. Oh, no. <laughs> but because people don't use their time, they don't use their thoughts, right? They don't really put down genuine words of gratitude on paper. But then sometimes you get a thank you note and I knew that I was going to be teaching this and I thought, I'm saving that. So I'm going to pass it around. It's really basic, but it's really good. It's thoughtful. It shows her gratitude. It's not just... Dear Kate, thank you for the dinner plate. See you soon, Rebecca. It is, you know, it has some other uh, details in it. So we're going to talk about that. If you want to see this, this is a really, to me, a really good basic thank you note. It doesn't require a lot of extra work. Um, so a personal note doesn't have to be written on fancy paper. You don't have to have monogram stationery. You don't have to have anything special nor do you have to have a journalism degree, it's not complicated, it's very simple. Dr. Lawrence, when I was talking to him about, he also is a big thank you note writer, and um, he opened up his, off, his desk drawer and he pulled out this piece of like, kind of nice paper, and he wrote thank you across the front. And you know, this is super cheap, right? Like you could use a white piece of paper, you could use a colored piece of paper. This is not, he didn't have to buy this, you know. So that's how you could create a quick thank you note. I bought a pack of like a bajillion, uh, 50 cards for $12.99. I don't know if you can do the math, but that's not very much per card and envelope. Um, and that'll last me for years, right, as I'm writing thank you notes. I keep them in my office and I try to jot down a thank you note to people who do things that kind of go above and beyond, students who go above and beyond. Okay, the biggest things are don't be intimidated by a thank you note. You don't have to have a journalism degree to do this. You don't have to write anything crazy in there. We want you to be authentic, be personal, and keep it simple. So, an example, you would start with a salutation, which is a long word for dear whomever you're talking to, okay? Me a graduation present, I'm gonna start my thank you note with dear Aunt Karen, comma, very simple. Then, over on the other corner, I'm gonna write the date. Um, you could write the date however you want to write the date. You want to write it, you know, 9 slash whatever today is, 29 slash 21, fine. But it helps the person know when you wrote it. Um, one little detail I forgot to leave out. These thank you notes have a design on them. They're pretty. Do you write on the front of the card? I mean, I guess you could draw a picture or something, right? But you open the card up. And you can either use the card like this, where the fold is at the top, and you would start writing on this part right here. So you would write, Dear Aunt Karen, right here. Or you could turn it sideways, and you would open it up, and you would write, Dear Aunt Karen, up here at the top. Okay, you're going to use the bottom flap or the right-hand flap. It's like a book. You don't open a book and start writing on the cover of the book, okay? Then, after you've done your salutation and your date, you'll express gratitude to, uh, for the specific gift. Thank you for the new backpack. That's how you start your thank you note. First, express gratitude. Thank you for, and be specific for whatever they did for you. Thank you for taking time to talk to me about health care, period. Okay? Then, you're going to give some more detail. You could go into as much detail as you want. One to three sentences of detail. 
The book bag is much needed and will be, a, and will be perfect for school. The size is great and will hold all of my schoolwork. You could also include a personal detail. Are you all here for the presentation? Come on. Come have a seat. I bet y'all have written some thank you notes. I bet your mama made you write some thank you notes. Okay. So then you would give some detail about the book bag, okay? You might also give some detail about um, something else that's going on. If they're a friend of yours and you know them really well, you might give some, um, some little personal something in the thank you note. My friend uh, Rebecca wrote this thank you note, and I have twins, they're little, and she wrote in the thank you note, I know you've got your hands full these days. The twins are getting so big and so cute, right? A fun little something that kind of is conversational. Then you would close with, it was so nice of you to think of me, or um, I appreciate you going out of your way to spend time with me, or whatever, you know, however you can close the uh, thank you note. And then, in an appropriate way, that ties back the, uh, the appreciation. And then you would say, how, who, you have to think about who you're writing to. If you're writing to your teacher, you're not gonna say love, right? If you're writing to your mama, you might say love at the bottom instead of sincerely. But if you're writing to somebody professionally, you could say sincerely, comma, and your name. Pretty simple, okay? I am happy to help you um, craft a thank you note. There are lots of people in your life who do things for you that are special every day. Um, you, it's, it's really nice for people, especially adults who work hard to make sure, like your, your family, your teachers, who make sure that you have everything you need and have a good day and learn all these extra things go above and beyond if you wanted to thank them i've got some thank you notes up here i'm happy to help you write it and if you want me to i'll go put it in their box if it's a teacher at school or i'll hand deliver it to them for you or you can hand deliver it um, i've got some dude cards you know some cards that are more masculine and then i've got some that are cute and girly too um, Anything you're interested in, we can go through my box of cards and you can use them. One thing that I thought was really interesting, Dr. Lawrence gave me his box of cards and they're just blue and they say thank you. And um, he keeps an ink pen in his box, a, like a nice little ink pen inside the thank you note box. Um, I thought that was a neat little thing to think about. Then you don't have to go look for the right kind of pen when you're going to write. Um, but I wouldn't get too worried about what kind of pen you're going to use. Um, Expressing the appreciation is the most important part, okay? Don't worry about your handwriting. Don't worry about all of those other little things. Um, just make sure that you're telling people you appreciate them and you don't know how much a handwritten card might mean to them. Okay? So if you're interested, you can come grab some thank you, a, a thank you note and write. I'll, help, I'll be glad to help you come up with um, what you might say Think about somebody who's done something special for you and express some written appreciation.